This is the camera that we record these videos with, and it's got a couple of issues. Uh, we've had a number of comments, like a lot of numbers of comments, saying they are uh, triggered by the dead pixels, like here and here and here and here and here and here and all these comments here that say the things of the things. And something happened with our uh, image stabilization on this camera that makes our time lapses look like they're filmed handheld. But a lot of you want us to dispose of this camera properly. And this is the camera we will be disposing of. It is a Canon G7X. We've had it for... 13 months, something like 13 that? 13 months. The first day we used it, it got a ton of water splashed up on it around the lens and it had to be like pulled apart and cleaned. Uh, so we actually didn't expect it to last even this long. Now we've cut a camera before, but what we haven't done is we haven't cut a working or a semi-working camera before. So with this one, what we want to do is we want to have it recording video, bring the water jet in and start cutting down the lens and just have it record itself being cut in half. Okay, and pop the battery out, then put it back in. You know how to use a camera? This is my first time. <laughs> Go to preview. Beep, beep. It did not save it. Mm. How are we gonna fix that? So because it didn't save, I'm gonna record it from my phone, recording the camera, recording itself, destroying itself. But this is the video that'll be posted, so it's just like eight layers of inception. So I think we've slowed time down uh, so slow that by the time this video posts, I might be a hundred years old. First digital camera. Mm. Well, that clay was kind of holding it together. I'll leave it there for now. Oh, we didn't even touch the oh, sensor wow. back in there. There's so much technology on there. I can see all the dead pixels from here. See that that one? Yeah, that's one of them. And that one. Oh, I didn't see that one. That sensor. It looks like it just got sandblasted because the water jet got so close to it there now you can see so it's probably got a few more dead pixels now what's the plural of pixels pick pixie pixie pixies yeah, it's got a bunch of dead pixies in it it's been a while since we've smelled some good lithium huh too long man mm. you just shaved like three years off of your life L lithium i think <laughs> Oh look, we could have kept the memory card in. We like barely missed it. So here we've got the clavicle, this little piece right here that has now disconnected. So uh, it's got a broken clavicle then? Yeah, it's a broken clavicle. Uh, the, the ulna and radius here work in tandem in the front of the lens. Well, there you go, you can see him. And then over here, um, this one, we have the, uh, patella. I think that's that what it's called. little one. I think that's what it's called. No, that's chocolate. That's definitely the Nutella. <laughs> this is the mandible. This part that's hanging off right there. Uh-huh. It's the mandible. Uh, which connects it to the sternum back in there. We didn't quite cut the sternum. Just kind of scraped the surface up there. Oh, oh you, uh, you disconnected it now. I broke the mandible. Uh, so up top is the sacrum, and that connects to the coccyx. Okay. And that's like where the magic happens, right? Yeah, that's for like, sure. That's like what makes it work. Because when you're on your camera, you're getting nice and fingery here, and it's getting the sacrum and the coccyx going. 
Okay, and uh, that right there is the basic inner workings of a digital camera. We've done a, a film camera before, right? Yeah, we've done a film camera, and then we actually had a lens that was both uh, film and digital, and I explained how that works, so you can check that out as well. I'll uh, put those links where the links go. Just a lot of education in this video. Electrical box. My guess is I'm going to hit a little boat low to the left where my last one was. Okay. Oh. Mm. Low and to the right. And it just fell. <laughs>